Now a story we guarantee most of you have never heard before. Big money is being made from the sale of fetal body parts. Even the most ardent pro-choice advocates, like Planned Parenthood President Gloria Felt, are disturbed by what we found. It seems inappropriate, totally inappropriate. Where there is wrongdoing, it should be prosecuted and should be brought to justice. A lot of people want to attack parts these days. They're looking for specific notes. Maybe the best day. I was like, wow, I didn't even know. Good for them. Yesterday was the first time she said people wanted longer. Uh -huh. um, and then, like I said, always as many attack livers as possible. People just want Yeah, livers. People want lower extremities right too, which that's, that's incredible. I mean, that's easy. I don't know what they're doing with it because they want muscle. Yeah, a dime a dozen. I'm the medical director for the national office for all right. of the So I say, okay, what are your, what are you looking to supply today? We've been very good at getting hard, long liver. Every provider has had patients who want to donate their tissue, and they absolutely want to become a slave. They just want to do it in a way that is not perceived as Okay, so um, when when you are or the authority is determining what that what that is monetary. Yes, so that it doesn't raise raise any question of this is this is what it's about. This is the main. What what price range would you? You know, I, I'm going to throw a number out. I would say it's probably anywhere from thirty to a hundred dollars, depending on the facility and what's involved. The thirty to a hundred dollar price, or that's per yes. specimen that we're talking per about, specimen. right? Yeah. Yes. The thirty to a hundred dollar price, or that's per specimen that we're talking per about, specimen. right? Yeah. Yes. How much of a difference can that actually make if you if you know? What kind of what's expected or what we need versus it makes, it makes a huge difference. I, I'd say a lot a lot of people want liver, mm -hmm. and for that reason, most providers will do this case under ultrasound guidance, mm -hmm. so they'll know where they're putting their forceps. Kind of re limiting step of the procedure is calvarium. Calvarium, the head is basically the biggest part. Most of the other stuff can come out of the tap. Right. Very rare to have cases that have enough diameter to evacuate all the other bring the, so To bring the body cavity out, exactly. contact and all that. Um, so then you're just kind of cognizant of where you put your grasp wears. Um, you try to intentionally go above and below the thorax so that, you know, we've been very good at getting hard, long liver. Mm -hmm. Because we know that. So I'm not going to crush that part. I'm going to basically crush below, I'm going to crush above, and I'm going to see that get out of the tack. And with the calvarium, in general, some people will actually try to change the uh, presentation so that's not vertex. So it's a vertex presentation. You never have enough dilation in the beginning unless you have a real huge amount of dilation to deliver an intact calvarium. So if you do it starting from the breach presentation, there's dilation that happens as the case goes on and often the last you can evacuate the intact calvarium. Mm -hmm. So I mean there are certainly steps that can be taken. So they can convert to breach, for example, exactly. at the start of the exactly. They next can also sound guys and they can just change it a little bit in the presentation. Ultrasound guidance, they can just change it a little bit in the presentation. To bring the body cavity out, exactly. contact and all that. So if you do it starting from the breach presentation, there's dilation that happens as the case goes on, and often the last you can evacuate the intact mm -hmm.
federal abortion ban is a law, and laws are up to interpretation. So if I say on day one I do not intend to do this, what ultimately happens doesn't matter. So yesterday was a clinic day. For example, like what did you procure? <laughs> You know, I, I asked her at the beginning of the day what she wanted. Yesterday she wanted, she's been at, a lot of people want to attack parts these days. They're looking for specific notes, A, B, notes, S, A. I was like, wow, I, I didn't even know. Good for them. Yesterday was the first time she said people wanted longer. I, uh -huh. um, and then, she, but like I said, always as many intact livers as possible. People just want Yeah, livers. Yeah, people want lower extremities right too, which that's, that's a thing. I mean, that's easy. I don't know what they're doing with it because they want muscle. Yeah, a dime a dozen. <laughs> exactly what we needed and I kind of looked at the list and I said, all right, this 17 weeker has eight plans and this So I knew which were the cases that were probably more likely to heal what we needed uh, and I made my decisions according to that too. So it's worth having a huddle at the beginning of the day uh -huh. and that's what I do. Rather than having to deal with all the different affiliates, if there were a way to partner with PPFA directly to get some kind of like pre-clearance or something, so, we so that we to have. Do this. Uh -huh. and at the national office, we have a litigation and law department which really doesn't want us to be the middle people for this issue right now. Because mm -hmm. um, we actually we were approached by Stem Express to do the same thing. Uh -huh. so much for Dr. Nuka Pola. She's been so helpful for the past couple years. I'm this with the Fetal Tissue Collection. I know a lot of people do it. Very, very helpful. It's good to talk to you. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for being here. Thank you. 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 Thank you.